Hi, my name's Andy and welcome to the channel. Uh, and today we're gonna do a quick little video on how to overclock your Intel HD 46000 uh, graphics. Uh, these are notoriously quite bad in onboard graphics, uh, but with a little overclock, uh, you can you can still play esports titles at 720p, 60 FPS on low settings. Uh, and if you're completely stuck with just these onboard graphics, uh, this works with pretty much all fourth gen motherboards uh, have the option to do this, even the H81 uh, boards. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, the benchmark I'm using for this is Heaven Benchmark. Uh, it's free to download uh, and it's a good just to get a, a starting point. Uh, our starting point is 35.8 FPS uh, at 720p low. Uh, before you do this as well, you want to make sure your graphics driver is up to date. You can do that by going to the Intel website or to Device Manager and right clicking and clicking Update uh, your graphics. Also, you want to make sure your motherboard has the latest BIOS. Uh, you can find that out by typing system information in your search bar uh, and it will tell you the motherboard. Uh, or you can go into to your BIOS and find out that way by pushing the delete key. And uh, yeah, just make sure your BIOS is updated to the latest BIOS as well. Uh, so let's jump out of this and we're going to go restart the computer and jump into the BIOS. Just make sure you uh, hammer the delete key as well when the system reboots. Delete or F2, this particular board is delete. And uh, yeah, here we are, it's just the basic standard fourth gen uh, MISI BIOS. The board itself is a H81M P33. Uh, most boards will look like this the same. Uh, the ASUS boards have uh, these options here along the top. Uh, we can't do much in the way of overclocking on this board. But if we come down to here, you will have your GT ratio. Now standard, uh, this is set to 1100 megahertz. We can just click on that and if we tap it up, sorry my mouse is in the way, we can tap it up to 30 and uh, that's it. Also make sure your RAM is running at 1600 megahertz. If you've got 1600 megahertz RAM, uh, it's not going to run very well on 1333 or if it's at default 1066 and every, every little helps right. Uh, we can't do anything with the CPU but this is not about that. So you just set your GT ratio to 1500. Also some boards have this option here in the top corner, OC Genie. Uh, if you click that as well, um, it will set that to 1500. Uh, so that's just a heads up. So we can go to save configuration and reset and uh, we will bounce back into Windows now. Uh, right, so here we are folks, back into Windows. Uh, I'm sorry, this uh, it's not on an SSD, uh, this installation, it's on a hard drive. Uh, so the boot times are a little slow. Uh, if we go open heaven again, go back into heaven, uh, low 720p. Uh, I've not used full screen uh, purely because I want to show you GPU Z, Z as well. Um, let's just let that load back up. Move that out of the way. Right, if we run that benchmark. Uh, right now, if we open GPU Z up enough, uh, up enough, up again, um, uh, now if you look at the GPU clocks, the GPU boost the clock should change to fifteen hundred, uh, but it won't for some reason. It's the same in in Mizzy Afterburner when you're running the game, uh, it still comes up as eleven hundred. Uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, but if we just run this this benchmark through quick and we'll see uh, what performance uh, improvements we've got. Uh, the CPU we're using as well is an i5-4460, uh, so it's just a basic i5 fourth gen. Uh, you can do this with an i3, uh, a Pentium, an i7, etc. As long as it's got the Intel HD 4600 graphics. And there we have it folks. And uh, yeah, that's a nice little improvement over our standard score, our first score, sorry. Uh, we've got 43.6, uh, so up from mid-30s. 
Our minimum FPS as well have jumped to 19.5, our max FPS to 77.7. And now that's not an amazing score by by no way, uh, but you know it's about a GT 710 uh, G DDR3 version, and uh, just for for something that's free on board uh, on your system, uh, you can give it a little tweak, get a nice little bit of uh, extra performance out of it. That's about 20% extra performance uh, just for jumping into your BIOS and uh, clicking a few keys. And like I said, uh, this will play GTA 5 at 720p, 30fps. It will play Fortnite on performance mode at 720p, 60fps. And it will play Valorant uh, at about 80fps on this CPU at 720p. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, yeah, and enjoy getting a bit more out of your Intel HD 4600 graphics. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like or a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. God bless.